If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. The words of the anthem today reflect exactly the beginning of our Gospel reading from John chapter 14. Thomas Tallis, the 16th century composer, wrote the music, a four-part unaccompanied piece. Here in the 21st century, St Mark's choristers have recorded singularly their individual parts and these have been put together by the ingenuity of technology, the voices interweaving and in harmony at the given tempo and key coming together as a whole. In the Gospel verses, as last week, we are taken back prior to Jesus' arrest and crucifixion as a reminder of what he said regarding the individual part the disciples must play in the harmony of God's kingdom. If you love me, keep my commandments. What are those commandments? Well, previously in his ministry, Jesus has made clear that the greatest of these commandments is to love God and love neighbour as self. Then, the night before he died, as he speaks to them now, he gave a new commandment, an enhanced summary, we could say, that you love one another as I have loved you. He loves us anyway, that's unconditional. And with that, he exhorts us to love one another too. By the power of the Spirit, the Comforter he mentions, it is well worth reminding ourselves, in the here and now, that the way we treat one another individually makes a difference to the whole, not only in allaying discord, but also in bringing life in its fullness. There were just a few monks left striving to keep the monastery going. They were good monks, really. Devout, but rather tetchy and critical of one another in their struggles. One day a rabbi, a wise and holy man, came to the monastery for his retreat. The monks were discerning what God wanted of them, where they were going, what the future was for this monastery. They couldn't agree. Some felt so inadequate and the prior thought he had all the answers, but clearly it wasn't working. They came up with an idea. Let's ask the rabbi what he thinks. So one of the monks was sent to the retreat house and asked the rabbi. The rabbi said, I really don't know what you should do, but I can tell you this much. The Messiah is among you. The monk went rushing back. Do you know what he said? He said that one of us is the Messiah. They all looked at each other and looked at themselves. Even the prior said, who is he talking about? Which one? It changed their whole way of interacting as each thought of the other, he might be the Messiah, or is it him, or is it me? Whatever, there was a new reverence, appreciation and openness. Soon the guests who came to the monastery saw it, felt it and they told others about it. More and more people started coming, and then young men started applying, and the monastery grew and flourished again as a place of sanctity, prayer and love. Heavenly Father, may we be empowered by your Spirit to love one another and sing to your glory and praise here on earth. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.